lovelies, I hope you're all well. So many of you that follow me on Instagram saw that I recently went to the Cricut Crafternoon Tea and I had some earrings on which I made myself and a lot of you were asking me how I made my outfit. I did a denim jacket, I did a top, I did earrings, I did a hat. So I thought we would start with the earrings. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go to projects and I'm just going to search for earrings and there is a pre-made project which is leather embossed earrings. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to customize. And those are just pre-done earrings and I'm going to keep them exactly as they are. The only thing that I do want to do is just for my own, uh, so I can work out my design, is I just want to flip them vertically. I'm then going to go to images and I'm just going to search for Cricut. Can I just say I am loving all the new Cricut images. I love that we've got some of the tools there. Uh, I love that we've got the maker now. I think that we've needed them for a long time. So it's really, really good. I'm then just gonna click on the happy Cricut cutie and insert image. And all I'm going to do is just weld him together. I just want him to be one complete piece. I'm going to bring him over to the earring and I'm just going to scale him so that he sits in there. And then I'm going to duplicate him and that's it. That's all I did for my earrings. So I'm going to cut out my earrings in Cricut metallic leather and then my cutie is going to be foil iron on. So we're going to go to make it. I'm going to just move that cutie along slightly and I'm going to mirror my iron-on layer, but I'm gonna keep my metallic leather layer the same. So we can then go to continue. I am using my Maker today, but if you're using one of the earlier machines, so your Explore or your Air, you can still use the metallic uh, leather. You just want to make sure that you turn your dial to custom, and you are going to need to use the deep cut blade. We are going to use the deep cut blade today. So for layer one, I'm going to use foil iron on. And for layer two, I'm going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to leather and I'm going to select metallic leather. You can see it's got the Cricut symbol next to it. So we know it's a Cricut product and we can then press done. And it will tell us to make sure that we've got our deep point blade. So I've got the Cricut Metallic Leather in gold here. This can be used with any of your Explore machines, it can be used with your Maker. You want to be able to use your deep cut blade with this. It is incredibly pretty, but it's also incredibly thick. You want to make sure that you use a purple strong grip mat. And you also want to go in with your Cricut fabric brayer and really, really work that into the mat. If you are working with a well used mat, I suggest that you get some masking tape and you mask around the area so that you really secure the metallic leather to the mat. As I say, you want to make sure that you are using your deep cut blade. You want to forget your deep cut blade and you want to put it into your blade clamp. You then want to come in with your metallic leather and of course feed it into the machine. When you're ready you can then press your lighting C and it will then start cutting for you. You also want to make sure that your roller blades are right to the other side. It will prevent them from marking in the metallic leather. We can then come in and peel the rest of the metallic leather away. And we can remove the earrings. 
I then like to use a weeding tool just to poke through and remove that hole. We can then get the foil iron on. As always, you're going to turn it so it's shiny side down. You're going to place it on the mat and you're then going to use your Cricut Fabric Grayer to secure it in place. Again, we want to feed our mat through. You then want to come in and you want to weed away the excess iron on. I always find it easier to do it on the mat. We can then come in and separate them both. We're going to be using baby turkey today, so I'm going to switch him on. Now I have consulted the Quicket Easy Press Interactive Quick Reference Guide, and you can use the foil setting, but there's no actual leather metallic setting. However, there is a faux leather setting, and it's advising to set the temperature to 255 degrees Fahrenheit or 125 degrees Celsius. So I want to change the temperature, so I'm going to click the temperature button. It's currently at 295, so I'm going to reduce it to 255, and it's telling me I want to keep it at 30 seconds. So we're just going to let that heat up. Now I am not going to preheat my leather today, I just don't feel it's necessary. However, as we know with most times we use our easy press, we want to preheat our mat and we want to preheat our material. I am not going to do that today. So I'm happy with the placement of those. I'm going to bring my easy press in and I'm just going to let it do its thing. Now I'm not going to apply any pressure onto this. With the foil iron on onto the metallic leather, it just doesn't need it. Now normally it would tell us we need to turn our item over and press for 15 seconds. However, again, it is telling us we do not need to do this, so we're not going to do it, but we are going to let this cool down because foil iron on is a cool peel. If you want to cool down your item quicker, you can of course give it a good fan. Once it's cooled down, we're going to come in and we're just going to gently peel away. I've then got myself a jewellery making kit which I just got from, I believe this was from Amazon, but you can get them from eBay and all other places. Uh, they're relatively cheap. This one comes with a little tool. I suggest you get one with this tool. It does really make a difference. So I have got some earring pieces and I've got some extra hoops. So you need two of each. The first thing you want to do is get your little hoop and your little tool. And you just want to open it slightly. And you want to do the same with the other one. You can then get your earring piece and you can place one end of the hoop through the earring piece and one end through your metallic leather. You then want to use your tool to close that gap. Exactly the same with this one. You want to put your open hoop through the earring and then through the metallic leather. You then want to use the tool to close that gap. And there we go, we've got two very beautiful Cricket Cutie earrings. Mm -hmm.